that was fun and it kind of came right out of Bob Cummings at least I think it did uh, I got a call from my agent to go over to Fox Western which doesn't exist anymore but it was an auxiliary 20th Century Fox television film lot uh, on Sunset and Western uh, so I went over there for the interview and I went on the set and Rod was directing and Dwayne was starring in this show and I think it was maybe the first or second episode because the Zelda episode was the fourth show that they did in the series and uh, Dwayne said oh we all know you and we love you and Rod said yeah just go over and talk to Max so Max Schulman um, a, an award-winning uh, novelist was adapting his own book, The Many Loves of Dobie Gillis, for this series for 20th Century Fox. And he was over across the street uh, in the you know, administrative offices. So I went over to see him and they ushered me in and I didn't see anybody sitting behind the desk. It was like this huge chair and this huge desk. And finally I noticed there was this really short guy sitting behind the desk and I said, Mr. Schulman, and he said, what's the first line that you say? And I said, I love you. And he said, you're hired. I said, I am? He said, yeah, go back and tell him you're gonna do the part. So he told me a couple of weeks later, I think kidding, well, of course you were gonna be hired. You were the only girl that came in that day that was shorter than I was. <laughs> And so I did this show, and the original intent of The Many Loves of Dobie Gillis was that there would be a different girl in each show, just like there was a different girl in each chapter of the book. Uh, but Zelda was very different, because although Dobie was chasing every girl that he wanted to get, Zelda was the only one chasing him. And this fourth episode was called Love is a Science. And the whole first scene where they're together they don't even speak to each other, they're just working at a laboratory table. And Rod let the scene go on uh, in some silence. And finally, Dobie says to Zelda, you know, we've been sitting next to each other for so long, you never say anything to me, you never say a word. So I turn to him and I say, I love you. And she commences then to tell him that they would get married and have children and be together forever because his name was Gillis and her name was Gilroy and because in all the science classes they seat you alphabetically they would always be sitting next to each other and because of propinquity he would be unable to resist her. So that was the first scene we did together. Now we had no audience and we shot with three cameras so we worked very fast. What happens when you shoot with three cameras is you can talk over each other because um, you you can interrupt each other because they've got the same master and the close-ups or the two shots on all at the same time. So we could work a lot faster than people who had to do, you know, kind of what we're doing. I wait for you to finish, you wait for me to finish. Um, and so we would just burn through a script and we'd have about 19 minutes for the whole script and we'd need you know, quick, right, another seven minutes. Um, and so at the end of this scene, Rod said, it doesn't feel finished to me. We have to do something, something, something that connects the two of you. And uh, he's, I, we, Dwayne and I looked at each other and said, I, what are you thinking? And he said, well, think of something. So I said, I don't know. He said, that's it. I said, what's it? He said, do that again. I said, I don't know. So he said, you know, with that thing you're doing with your nose. Okay, turn to Dwayne and do that. So I turned to him and I went. And Rod said, okay, now, like it's a response that you can't help doing. You, you do it back. And then he said, you, 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 you castigate yourself for it. Uh, what would you do? And, and Dwayne said, I would go like, Zelda or something. So that's how we did a bit, which we then did for four straight years, mm -hmm. you know, which they called the nose wrinkle. But it was a complete, again, it was an invention uh, because you were, and maybe still it's the same way. Who knows? Seinfeld, you know, Friends, uh, any of the new shows, maybe people are very inventive about what shows their relationship and bits, uh, but that was ours.